The setup and use of your Heyman Reese towing solution is straightforward. With just a few steps of preparation, you can ensure it's adjusted for the very best results. Remember, our objective is to connect the caravan or trailer to the tow vehicle and make both units ride level and perform as one. This provides for the safest and most comfortable towing condition. Before attempting the setup of your weight distribution system, you'll first need to find your ideal tow ball height and tow ball weight. The principles will remain the same whether you're using mini through to super heavy duty bars. So, let's get started. The first step is to determine the tow ball height when your caravan or trailer is level. This is important as this must be the height achieved after weight distribution is connected. To do this, on a level surface, measure the distance between the ground and the caravan or trailer A-frame at the front and rear. Use the jockey wheel to make adjustments until both measurements match. Once the caravan or trailer is level, measure from the ground to the bottom edge of the tow ball coupling. This will give you your ideal or target tow ball height. Make sure you write these measurements down as you'll need them for later reference. Next, establish the ball weight. This is the amount of weight supported by the tow ball when your caravan or trailer is fully loaded and ready for travel. The best way to do this is to use a ball weight scale. By following the instructions set out for your scale, write down the weight indicated on the scale once the maximum tow ball weight has been applied. When doing this, ensure your caravan or trailer is fully loaded with your typical towing load. Remember, the weight specification for the distributing bars must be within the ball weight you've just measured. If the bars are too light, they'll bend without transferring the weight onto the vehicle's front wheels. When the brakes are applied, the weight on the ball increases, lifting the front of the vehicle and resulting in a loss of braking efficiency. On the other hand, if too heavy, they'll remain rigid and won't flex with the changing road conditions. For safe and stable towing, the ball weight should ideally be approximately 10% of the total caravan or trailer mass. At the same time, this shouldn't exceed the vehicle and manufacturer's maximum load towing specifications or ball load capacity, as stated in the owner's handbook. You can also measure your caravan or trailer mass by visiting your local weigh bridge. Now that you've got your tow ball height and ball weight, you're ready to set up your weight distribution hitch. Correctly setting up your equipment is a vital step in establishing safety and control. In this section, we'll run you through some simple steps in setting up your weight distribution hitch so you get the most out of your Heyman Reese towing solution. To begin, slide the drop shank into the hitch receiver and insert the locking pin. Slide the ball mount head up the shank until the tow ball mounting surface is at the same height from the ground as that of the tow ball height of your caravan or trailer that you measured earlier. Assemble the lower bolt to secure its position. Assemble the top bolt along with the cam plates, making sure that the tow ball mounting surface is in a level, horizontal position. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to the torque recommended in the fitting instructions. Don't over tighten the hardware. This can be just as dangerous as under tightening. Next, attach and tighten your tow ball. Australian standard tow balls have a 50 mm diameter and can carry a rating as high as 3,500 kilograms. Check that the rating on your tow ball is suitable for your towing load, as they can change from one manufacturer to another. At the same time, double check your caravan or trailer coupling specification to make sure it's also suitable for your towing load.
Next, attach the snap-up brackets to the caravan A-frame. To do this, you'll need to know the length of the spring bars you're using, which is indicated on the bars themselves. In this example, a 600-pound weight distribution hitch with 28-inch spring bars is being used. The snap-up brackets will be positioned 28 inches down the A-frame, measured from the centre of the tow ball coupling. The aim is to make the connecting chains hang at a 90 degree angle from the trailer A-frame when the spring bars are connected. You now need to back the tow vehicle into place to begin the hookup. Before lowering the coupling onto the tow ball, measure from the ground to a fixed point on the front and rear of the tow vehicle, usually under the wheel arches. Write these measurements down, as you'll use these to compare how much weight is being transferred to the front and back after hooking up. You can now lower the coupling onto the tow ball and lock it on. With the tow hitch in position, the spring bars can be connected. Remember the aim of connecting the spring bars is to distribute the weight evenly across the front and rear axles of the tow vehicle and caravan. This is usually a process of trial and error. To make connecting the spring bars easier, use the jockey wheel to raise the caravan A-frame slightly higher than the level position. This will lift the rear of the tow vehicle and make hooking up much easier. Place the spring bars into the ball mount head and attach the connecting chains to the hooks on the snap-up brackets. Do this for both spring bars, making sure you use the same number of working links. We recommend you start with five or six working links. Using the snap-up handle, lever the snap-up brackets into place and attach the safety pins. Be careful not to place too much strain on the spring bars at this stage, although they do need to be firmly in position. Wind the jockey wheel up until the load is transferred fully to the vehicle. Go back and measure the front and rear points of the tow vehicle to see how much weight is being transferred. The goal is to make the vehicle level again. As an example, if the rear goes down 15mm while the front stays the same or even goes up, not enough weight is being transferred, so use fewer working lengths. But if the front goes down more than the rear, too much weight is being transferred, so use more working lengths. If either of these is the case, go back and reconnect the spring bars using more or fewer working lengths. Repeat the measurements and adjust the spring bars until the same amount is being transferred to the front and rear of the vehicle. A tolerance of 12 millimeters is acceptable between the front and rear of the towing vehicle. If you find that a certain link doesn't transfer quite enough weight, but the next link transfers too little, you can half link the setup by placing a 12 millimeter bolt between the two links. This is a good idea for fine tuning. Once you've found the proper chain link, mark it for easy recall. Now that the weight is evenly distributed across the towing load, use a tape measure to check you have at least a 125mm clearance between the end of the spring bars and the ground. If there's not enough clearance, you can change the angle and height of the spring bars by adjusting the angle of the ball mount head. This can be done by rotating the adjusting cams. Don't be concerned that the ball mount head is not horizontal to the road surface. The purpose is to make sure that the end of the spring bars have adequate ground clearance. You have now successfully completed the setup of your towing solution. But before we continue, a word about safety chains. Safety chains need to be of adequate strength to support the downward weight of the caravan or trailer and be attached securely to both the towing hitch and A-frame. They must also be short enough to keep the drawbar off the ground if the coupling accidentally becomes unhitched. As weight distribution hitches extend the tow ball position by as much as 8 inches, safety chains need to be longer to reach the vehicle anchor points. If the chains are too long and the caravan or trailer becomes unhitched while towing, the drawbar will hit the ground. Heyman Reese's Safety Chain Extender Kit overcomes this problem. The kits contain a mounting bracket that bolts to the side of the existing ball mount head, providing a more suitable safety chain anchor point. By connecting additional links to the existing safety chain, the chain can be connected to the vehicle's existing mounting points and the new mounting bracket. 
providing a suitable and safe solution. You can adjust the length of the chain by changing the link that attaches to the mounting bracket. Just make sure the caravan or trailer maneuverability isn't restricted when doing this. Now that you're set up and ready to go, remember to always disconnect the spring bars on your weight distribution hitch before reversing. This will allow for tighter turning and will avoid any damage to your towing hitch. While correct setup is critical to ensure your safety and comfort, so too is the regular inspection and servicing of your towing setup. We recommend to get your towing setup inspected and serviced every 10,000 kilometres at a Heyman Reese accredited service centre.